This is uh, this is Maserati Matt. I'm here with Lada Zay from Innuendo, Jersey, Abbo, All Body Bags Official. What's good, Lada? What's the deal, my nigga? Just chilling, man. Um, we're going to jump right into it. First thing I want to ask you about is uh, is uh, what's the possibility that we actually going to see a rubber match with John John the Don? Man, um, basically, man, we got to... You know what I mean? Like, anything is good on my end. You know what I mean? Like, like this shit is crazy right now because, you know what I mean? Like, this nigga always has excuses on how much the battle doesn't make sense to do or, you know what I mean? Or he's on, like, on a higher level than I am right now. You know what I'm saying? When you battling this dude out here and, um... Las Vegas, I don't even know the dude. I don't even know who the dude is. Battling this dude out in Las Vegas, nobody knows who this dude is. What is that doing for you? But that makes sense more than more than this match makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, you know what I mean? I body bagged you the first one. You know what I mean? That was clear. You know what I mean? The second battle, I went down to your, you know what I mean, to your home state. You know what I mean? Your neck of the woods. You know what I mean? You a club promoter, dog. You know what I mean? I already know what your fan base is like, my nigga. So you got me in your in your hometown. You know what I mean? You brought your audience in. You know what I mean? And I got jerked out there. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? It is what it is. And, you know, it's a 1-1 right now. And you can't keep running, my nigga. And, the, you know, you always got an excuse on why the battle don't make sense. Like, oh, I'm in URL, I'm doing bigger shit than you. Well, nigga, I'm in URL now, nigga, and I'm on the main stage now, nigga. So, that's not an excuse no more. So, what the fuck you want to do, my nigga? Like, 
real talk. Like we we gonna get this shit in or, or we not, my nigga. Like like this, I ain't got no words for this nigga. All I got is bars for this nigga. Like he niggas a clown, my nigga. Like straight lace, my nigga. Like, but I don't try to, you know what I mean. Keep speaking on this nigga name and bring it and bring it more relevance to his name. You know what I mean. Every time I battle him, I make him relevant. You know what I mean? When I first battled him, nobody gave a, gave a fuck who the fuck who, you know what I mean? Nobody cared who he was, you know what I'm saying? And then I battled him again, I made him relevant again, then he got on smack, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? It's a lot of shit going on, there's a lot of niggas on the scene right now, you fading out the scene. I battle you again, I'm gonna make you relevant again, my nigga. You know what I mean? So you might as well just, you might as well just come through, like, and get these bars of death, my nigga, and let me fuck you up. So you just came Grudge off the battle. Man, my yeah, yeah, for sure. You just came off the battle with Toe Montana. That ain't dropped yet. Um, before that, was the Sir Loxley battle before the Side Boy battle, or, or vice versa? The uh, I battled uh, Side Boy uh, December fifteenth, and the Loxley battle was exactly seven days after that. Okay, so they was within the same week then. And then yeah, you, they was in the same week. And then you got the tone battle. Um, word on the streets is that uh that uh you got the best of tone. So um, basically, you on a three zero stretch, and that's just touching your three battles. You know, what I mean, we can go back further. I'm sure that that winning. Oh uh, yeah, I went. Uh yeah, uh, in February I went out to Washington State and uh, bodied the boy uh Jimmy James and shit at uh Alliance Battle League in uh, Tacoma, Washington and shit. Okay, okay, and then we got we got real. And I mean, on the it was it was. It was it was so bad, it was so bad that they threw an actual body bag on the stage. Niggas gotta go go YouTube that. One hundred percent. Check out Jimmy James versus Lada Zay. Um, we'll actually link the battle in the description of this interview just so y'all can catch the severe body bag. Um, Tom Montana, do we got a date on when that drops? Do you know for sure yet? Um, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? But it's gonna be it's gonna be real soon you know what i'm saying um i'm already they already got me working on my next match so can you can you can't leak anything information about that next matchup you know the fans is wanting to know you know we trying uh, to get the inside <laughs> scoop. we trying to get the inside scoop as quick as we can so we can uh, I, don't, I don't i don't know if i can drop that info right now but i keep i definitely keep you posted bro 100 100 definitely 100%. i like to uh get in touch with uh the fan side of, of most of these battle rappers I interview, and um, I just wanted to ask you, what type of uh, battlers do you prefer, and if you got a small list of cats that you enjoy watching as a fan as opposed to as an artist? Um, who I like yeah. to watch? Yeah, who you like to watch, just as a fan instead of, you know, inst instead of as an artist. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. I you don't know. got one cat you can think of that you just enjoy checking out. What about a new cat? You got a new cat that hit the scene recently that you fucks with? Um, nah, nah I'm not going. I can't pump fake, bro. I think B Magic is dope, my nigga. B Magic is nasty. I, I think B Magic is dope. I think. I think. He got a bar. I can't. Fest. I can't. I can't stand on him. You know what I'm saying? I like, um, I like B Magic a lot. Is there anybody that you, as a as an MC, as a battle rapper, maybe have in your radars to uh, somebody you th might think would be a classic that y'all can get a million views or, or something that you'd want to tackle on the URL stage? You know what I mean? Somebody other than John John, because you know we already went over that situation. Is there somebody else you might have on your radar that you think would be a good matchup to get them views skyrocketed? Um. To me, it's not all really all about the the view about the views, my nigga. It's, it's really to me, it's more about um the quality of the battle. You know what I mean? I don't, you know what I mean? That's why I pick my battles wisely. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about the quality of the battle. You know what I mean? Like March 30th is gonna be me and uh versus Daylight um at I Battle. That's gonna be a crazy battle. Like uh, that shit is gonna probably be one of the best battles of 2013 me versus daylight you, um a lot of people want to see that you and bet. um go ahead go ahead my bad you know so you know that's that's what i really go off of you know what i'm saying that's what i really go off 
you led right into my next question, um, the daylight battle. What type of problems does daylight pose that maybe somebody that you haven't faced already could, could bring to you? Um, I, I think the first word that would pop in my mind is his creativity with his bars. You know what I mean? How he kind of thinks outside of the box instead of that cookie-cutter image that a lot of us see. What, what do you think that he brings to the table that might be hard for you to tackle? Hard for you to tackle. Uh, <laughs> I don't really... Uh... I don't really see daylight as being a problem, man. I think this is going to be, it's going to either be a classic battle or I'm going to tuck him in. You're going to tuck him <laughs> in. You're going to hit him with one of those abos. <laughs> it's either going to be a classic or I'm going to tuck him in because I will not lose, man. Have you peeped the shoddy horror battle? Shoddy horror versus daylight? Yeah, I see, yeah, I saw it. I think shoddy horror dug in him. Yeah, I, I, I think I think I think I think uh, Shadi Hard definitely tucked him, man. I what? think he think he flushed him. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I respect Daylight, man. I respect Daylight, bro. Like, I respect Daylight. You know what I mean? I definitely think he one of the top dudes on the scene right now. Word. Shout out to Daylight. I think you know what I mean. I can't even say it because you know what I mean. I can't even say it. I'm going to leave it all out there for March 30th, you know what I mean? But just know I respect daylight, you know what I'm saying? But it's either going to be a classic or I'm going to tuck him in.